Sejak 2021, negara bagian Oregon memperlakukan dekriminalisasi narkoba. Bagi pecandu seperti John di kota Portland, ini membuatnya bisa menghisap syabu atau menggunakan fentanil dengan leluasa. We were right out in the open and and you didn't have to be paranoid anymore, you didn't have to worry about the cops. And we were just it was just like smoking cigarettes. Dekriminalisasi disahkan lewat referendum akhir 2020 bernama Measure 110 atau Undang-Undang 110. Pengguna tak lagi menghadapi ancaman kurungan. If somebody is using, uh, if we see somebody smoking fentanyl off of foil, uh, we can stop them and we can write them a Measure 110 ticket. And that ticket, um, it's a hundred dollar fine. And basically, uh, they can either call a phone number or pay the fine. Tapi kenyataannya hanya sekitar 4 persen yang menelpon nomor kanseling pada kartu yang dibawa polisi dan yang gagal bayar denda juga tak diberi sanksi. Selain itu, banyak dampak lainnya. Fentanyl came on the scene at the same time that decriminalization happened, and then we saw an explosion in public drug use downtown, and uh, unfortunately that brought other issues into downtown, such as you know gun violence and uh, other crime. Erika adalah warga Portland yang akhirnya pindah guna menghindari tingginya kriminalitas. This isn't about freedom for people who want to do drugs. This is an absolute tragedy. And where you have decriminalization, you have a bigger market for drug use. And the drug dealers come in and they have people to sell to. Kematian akibat overdosis opioid di Oregon meningkat dari 472 pada 2020 ke 1000 lebih orang pada 2023. The spirit of Measure 110 was to stop using the criminal justice system to treat addiction, instead treat it as a medical issue and provide treatment. However, we haven't done that yet. So you decriminalized, but you don't build any infrastructure and you don't have any services for folks that need it. Di Dewan Negara Bagian dan kalangan aktivis muncul beragam wacana, mulai rekriminalisasi hingga reformasi saja. Um, fewer people are actually um, moving through a process because there isn't that that pressure essentially uh, that that consequence um, and reward to move people into recovery like we previously had um, with drug courts and other uh, systems that were in place. Undang-undang dekriminalisasi dulu didukung 58 persen pemilih di Oregon. Tiga tahun sejak dekriminalisasi terjadi pergeseran opini publik di Oregon. Sebuah survei baru oleh Emerson College misalnya menemukan bahwa separuh lebih warga Oregon ingin membatalkan dekriminalisasi ini. Tapi lebih banyak lagi ingin sekedar terjadi perbaikan di sana-sini. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.